breaking news alert. Issues this morning for Boeing Starliner capsule just hours after this liftoff from the coast. We now know mission managers are dealing with multiple helium leaks on board. One of those leaks was known about before launch. Yeah, and the other two, though, weren't detected until after liftoff. And the question now is what impact that could have on the rest of the mission. News Six's Mark Lehman is following the developments live in studio. And Mark, the astronauts were just given an update in the last couple hours. Yeah, just after they woke up this morning, the two learned they will be able to dock with the International Space Station later today. That news coming after Mission Control says they were troubleshooting the leak issue overnight. Now, the first sign of a problem came around 930 last night, just as astronauts Butch Wilmore and Sonny Williams were about to go to sleep. Flight controllers detected two new helium leaks in Starliner's propulsion system, and that was on top of a small leak that was already known about uh, uh, known about before yesterday's launch. Now, steps were taken to isolate the affected lines. That fix stopped the leakage, but also took six of the ship's 28 reaction control jets offline. NASA says the astronauts were in no danger during all of this, and in the last Last couple of hours, we learned flight controllers were able to increase the pressure in those affected lines. The team here began cycling the A and B valve, uh, the two manifolds that were down. They were initially closed and they began to open them one at a time, increasing pressure over time and have seen um, a rise in the pressure returning to above the flight rule. All of this troubleshooting has put a bit of a damper on yesterday's picture-perfect launch. Boeing Starliner capsule lifting off on top of the Atlas V rocket. The launch was delayed about a month after two scrubs, at, at, and it followed years of setbacks in the development of Starliner. Now, as for the leaks, the big question is the status of the helium system and what kind of impact this could have going forward. We could learn more about that later today. Meanwhile, docking at the ISS is set for 1215 this afternoon. We'll carry that live here on News 6 and on ClickOrlando.com. Lewis?